Now we're going. Okay. Hi friends. Welcome to Stay Stitching. My name is Carla and I'm glad you're here. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of sewing um, for as long as I can keep Troy interested. Um, <laughs> a little while. First things first. If you are feeling unsettled and you need something soothing, go on YouTube and look up two people. Number one, they're both British. Number one, and they're mudlarkers, Tom Burley, B-U-R-L-E-I-G-H. He does the most soothing videos set in the most beautiful locations you will ever see. Plus, because Europe is a million years old, they have cool stuff there that we don't have here in the United States. You know, my husband and I will go uh, metal detecting sometime and we might find a um, penny or something from 1972. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! 1972! You know, I mean, literally, that's what we find. Um, but, and then the second one is Nicola White. N-I-C-O-L-A, Nicola White. And I think her channel's name is Mudlarking with Nicola White, but she's very big. If you put in Nicola White, her she will come up. She has an incredible voice as well. She's very soothing. Both of them are very articulate. They have fantastic uh, vocabularies. And Nicola especially finds fascinating things because she's a Londoner, I believe, and she hunts on the Thames. Well, the Thames, Troy, I'm having a serious conversation here. <laughs> Troy's tilting my phone and doing weird stuff, which you knew before I did, Troy. <laughs> up here, up here, Troy. Um, she'll find stuff from Roman times, you guys. So if you need a little break when things get too much, I suggest you check out both of those channels. You will feel very soothed, okay? So there's that. The second thing is, um, I was watching Nicola's latest video and she had an idea that I really liked the sound of. She asked her viewers, and she's got jillions of them, um, to send her footage of them mudlarking or creating in their studio, um, you know, doing whatever it is that they're doing. And I thought that I would ask you guys to please send me short clips of you in your makes or you in your studio. Maybe you have a super organized sewing room or craft room and you wanna give us a quick tour. Um, I would suggest that you keep the videos to no more than five minutes. You can also send me photographs, um, like, and, and they don't have to be sewing. If you have another craft that you're going to do, that you do, then definitely show that. And I will put them on my channel and everybody else can see what you are up to. Now, the two pieces of advice that I have for you for filming, if you're not a YouTuber, um, as you all know that I am the least professional YouTuber out there, um, we filmed, stop it, we filmed on my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 forever, and then I just, this is a, um iPhone 11, and I've had it for probably a month or less now, and so that's what I film on. I don't have a, a vlogging camera or anything like that. So the two pieces of advice I have for you is hold your phone sideways like this. Let me see your phone. Here's Troy's phone. Hold your phone sideways like this and keep it as still as possible. So <laughs> otherwise you'll make your viewers sick. If you have a husband or a child who's filming for you, just ask them to hold it as still as possible. If you want to show them something else in the room, just move very slowly, like in super slow motion, and that won't make them sick. And then if you wanna show something down, just move the phone slowly down or up and down like this. And if you do that, your videos are going to be as good or better than mine. Um, my 
Email address is Carla Mayfield, the number five at gmail.com. And you can send me anything to that address and I will get you up and we will continue sharing and working together and having conversations and checking out what we're all doing. And um, so I hope that's interesting to you. Commercial break over. Now, let's go back to this um, sewing business. This is the two hour cardigan that um, I am taking forever to finish. I don't know what my problem is, but I do have a question for you guys. I never know what to do with interfacing. I burn it, I melt it, I'm constantly messing it up. And um, this is knit interfacing, see, I gotta turn that down. And then I turn my steam off, but hold please. Troy, say something interesting. I got nothing, I got nothing today. I used it all yesterday. Okay, so talk oh. about talk about what happened here. Okay, you might have noticed that we have a couple of cats. And apparently the whole myth about cats dying from eating plastic is a lie, because ours will not die. This looks like a Zane thing. He chews on plastic bags. Nutmeg, on the other hand, loves tape. Who knows? And um, all the thread around here, they eat it. So we can't kill them. <laughs> Damn cats. I've never seen them eat thread. I do think that they can die from eating thread. So I hope that they don't. So this is my um, Fusing Knit Trico Fusible that I ordered from someplace. I don't know where. Um, hmm. Anyway, it didn't even come with instructions. And I don't remember where I ordered it. Well. So... You don't need that negativity in your life, then. I have no idea how to fuse it on here. So what I'm going to do, and I know I've used it before because it wasn't a brand new thing. I have my curtain or tea towel. This might have, this might have been a tea towel. Uh, from This is either from the 50s or the 70s because this colonial stuff was in style in the 50s, and then it came back with a vengeance in the 70s. And so anyway, I bought this at a thrift store because I think it's adorable. And so I'm going to put that down and then I'm just going to do the best I can. This is my press cloth because we're fancy around here, you guys. The Mayfields like to keep it fancy. Speaking of fancy, our new counters are in. This isn't even hardly hot at all. Did you ever flip it to get it turned on? I did, but I just turned it way down and the steam is off. That's one of the ways that I know that my iron is working is by listening to the steam. But so tell me down below, what do you set your iron on when you're fusing interfacing? Do you keep the steam on? How long do you hold it in place? I just do it randomly every time, like with no rhyme or reason. And then I will um, pick up the press cloth and then pick up the, uh, then see if it's stuck, the, if the interfacing is stuck. And that's how I do it. It's no method. That's what I do. Of any kind. Right. I've never done that, but I would if I did. I don't know. Action shot. This is almost as much fun as watching paint dry. I know, it's not very stimulating. Let me see if I can think of anything else to say. My sister and I have been FaceTiming and stamping together. It's easy to do FaceTiming and stamping instead of sewing because as you know, when we're sewing, we're getting up nonstop. And so it's a little bit harder because I'm constantly wandering around and I have my sewing stuff spread out all over the world. You That's may have, not even remotely um, melted. You may have hit upon why it's taking forever to make this sweater. I know. You wander off, lose tension. I do wander off. 
Okay. I, okay. I don't know. You yeah. guys, I don't know. I need help. You know, it's stuck down here. Stuck. Yeah. That's the technical term for it. No, wait. Fused. Fused. Yes, yes, yes. Fused. Well, and I'm a little nervous because this fabric has, it's very unnatural. I mean, this is going to be, I know this is our spring module, but I'm telling you what, it's going to have to be pretty darn cold for me to get away with wearing this very much. Don't worry, it's going to snow lighter this week. Next week. Here. Okay. This fabric is so thick that I considered... And tell me what you think about this. Do you ever leave interfacing out? I've never done that before. But I thought about doing that for this because... I just did. I was like, this fabric, do I really want... Because there's going to be, you know, the extra... Layers, I feel like it's starting to stick. Did you put the right glue side down? Well, yeah, obviously you did because it did stick. Oh. Just checking. We would know very quickly if we didn't. Okay, so... I'm going to go, I have to, I have to, <laughs> Troy, get away from my wrinkles. I thought you would walk across the room when I said that. No. Good job. <laughs> good job for not taking me up on that I don't, little challenge. I don't see your wrinkles. Oh, good. Um, I have to go rethread my cover stitch machine. This will be the first time I've ever done it. I do have some mustard-esque cones. I have four of them. They're more of an old gold color. They'll be fine on this. Um, but I'm not looking forward to that, and I don't think I'm going to make you sit through it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this cardigan. Then I'm going to come back later in the day, and I will model it for you. Probably just over what I'm wearing, which are jeans and a t-shirt. I bought this t-shirt at a thrift store, and it's so floppy. I wonder if it's supposed to be a pajama top instead of an actual shirt that you wear out in public. But guess what? We're not going out in public, so what does it matter? If this is a pajama top, who cares? So I will check back with you guys later. Okay, so she's threading the top stitch machine with the new color thread. And I've only heard her curse like seven times. It's not been bad. I, I mean, just I just told Troy I'm only sewing with mustard thread from now on. So you're going to just be seeing a lot of mustard colored garments from here on out. No, it isn't so bad. First, I tried, for those of you who maybe don't have one of these yet, first I tried tying off all of the thread. And that did not work. None of the needles took the thread. None of them. Then I tried... Are those in there right? This one's supposed to be here. Let's see. You're supposed to be right here. Dink! And you're there and you're there. Anywhere they belong? Okay. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Now, the looper. I did not realize, I guess I should have realized this because um, there's three needles, that there's only one looper doing all that work. It's the overachiever, isn't it? Yeah. All right, this has to go through all three of these holes. Good job. And then this comes down. 
and it has to go through this little guide down here. Are you filming the back of my head? Are you filming it inside of my ears? No. <laughs> Stop it. I'm trying to do something, Troy Mayfield. I'm trying to film what you're doing there. Is there a hole there? And then... There we go. Let's see. I don't know if I skipped anything. All right, let's try. This will be my third try. So first I tried cutting everything off and um, that did not work. None of the needles kept the thread. I think the looper did. And then I tried just cutting them like right around here and threading them, that did not work. So this will be a completely from scratch thread, threading. Let's see what happens. And then you can lift this up and pull your thread so that it's in the back. Well, that wasn't even sewing. All right, um, I'm not sure what that means. Let me try this again. not sewing. Okay. Nutmeg! Hi, Nutmeg. Hi, Nutmeg. All right. Meow. Definitely more satisfying than a not sewing top stitcher. Nutmeg. You can come up here and help me? You can help me, Nutmeg. I don't know how to do this. Your little pads are cold. Have you been outside? All right. <clears throat> I think that I'm going to not do this. I think that I'm going to have to find my book, figure out what I've done wrong. This is old thread. Maybe it's the thread. Maybe this thread is super, no, not that. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to watch another video. I've put my book someplace safe, but I have, I have Johanna's book as well. I just need to find those and sit down when I have some time, not when I'm trying to finish hemming a completed garment. So I will do that another time. This cardigan will be hemmed on a regular machine with a zigzag stitch. So I will check back with you later. Hi friends, welcome to Stay Stitching. My name is Carla and I'm glad you're here. Of course, I would have already said that at the beginning part of this video, which was earlier in the day. All right, so here we have McCall's 6844 View B. And I made it out of this mustard yellow um, knit from Hobby Lobby. And this should be about a two hour sew, maybe three hours, including cutting. But I managed to drag it out over like five days. I could not get focused on it. And... Um, I'm one of those kind of people that just pretends like everything's okay, even when it's not. And so I think all of the stuff that's going on right now, I've just been like kind of ignoring it, you know, just pretending like, I don't know, just like not really facing it, facing it. And I'm not, you know, afraid. I just am, uh, it's just so weird. You know, it's just so, so weird. And I think the older you are, you know, the longer you've 
gotten used to things being a certain way, the more shocking the whole situation is, I guess. So anyway, putting this cardigan together and the fact that I could not focus on it, like I didn't have my video ready on Tuesday when I was supposed to, and then it took me days after that. I mean, here it is Saturday. And so the video was supposed to, I was supposed to be done with this on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, so it just, I just had a hard time getting focused on it. And uh, I, I haven't worn it yet or anything. I've only tried it on a couple of times. I'm not even finished with it yet. I still have to hem the sleeves, which will just take me a few minutes and I will have them hemmed before Tuesday's reveal. And I have to cut off some, um, like here at the edge of the band, I have to thread this back up in there. Um, there's some weird parts to this pattern that I don't like. Like, I don't like the way they had you finish this. You hem this part first, you do your band in its entirety, turn it out, and then you sew them together, right sides together, and so then you have this there. I would, if I like this, what I would do next time is I would leave this section unhemmed I would put these two together and then I would fold this up and iron it so that it was even with this and then I would hem so that this wasn't right here. I don't know. I don't know if that would work. The other weird thing that I was thrown by was all the amount of faffing around that they wanted you to do in terms of sewing every seam twice and then trimming. I just... I'm such a rule follower. I try to follow the patterns exactly every single time, but I just couldn't do it. And so I did the whole thing on my serger. Yeah, see, here's more thread that needs to be clipped. Um, I tried to change threads in my cover stitch. I tried three times and it wouldn't go. And so I just walked away from that and I will go back to it, obviously. I've, I have loved that machine so far, but I have to learn how to thread it eventually. I just didn't have time to learn how to do it on this garment. So I'm going to ask Troy to come back up here. I'm gonna put this on and show you what it looks like. And um, then I'll see you again on Tuesday with my fashion show. Um, while I'm putting this on, Troy's going to pan around and show you the chaos that we're dealing with right now because we got our counters in and we had to empty everything out. Okay, so this is just the bottom half of the kitchen and it's not everything now because we already have the drawers back. Do any of you find you have stuff that um, you don't even know what it is? I mean, for crying out loud, there's a muffin tin over there of some sort still in the wrapper that's from paper chef i got so many new things but i yeah. already have everything yeah so we're gonna give, give that away no probably. we're not and then there's some other stuff that's just like what the what the why the i'm gonna but let you, i'm gonna have... let you get rid of the yonana's machine okay but look at the two little kitten salt and pepper shakers they're pretty cute all right here, here we I go am. In a somewhat clean spot. It's not really clean. There's chairs and everything here. But here it is. Um, this one is longer than, this is view B. View A is a little bit shorter. I think I would make view A next time. Um, the sh shoulders come way down here. They should be up here. Um, this is not supposed to meet in the middle and it does. And so I think the next time I make it, I will cut the, I don't remember. Let me see the pattern. Can you hand me that pattern, please? Let's see here. Thank you. Um, this is an extra large. So next time I make this, I'll definitely just cut the large. I haven't pressed this yet. I can see by looking down at it that it looks bad. But um, I think it'll be cute. What do you think? 
Cardigans. Cardigans. Woo! Cardigans. You guys take care, and I will see you either before Tuesday or on Tuesday.